In this lesson, students will use a linear model such as fraction bars to determine fractional parts of a whole. Provide each student with a set of fraction bars and have students cut out each fraction bar. Using one of the fraction bars, ask students to color the bar red and label the bar one whole. Tell students, now I would like to partition one whole bar into halves. Model folding a bar and creating two unequal parts. Did I partition my bar into two equal parts or halves? No, the parts are unequal. Each part is not the same length. Model folding another bar in the middle to create two equal halves. Did I partition my bar into two equal parts or halves? Yes, the parts are equal. Each part is the same length. Have students fold a bar in half and cut the bar along the fold. How many equal parts did we make? Two. Have students color the halves pink and label each part one half. Have students fold another bar in half and then in half again. Unfold. Have students cut the bars along the folds. Did we partition the bar into equal parts? Yes. How many equal parts did we make? Four. Have students color the fourths yellow and label each part one fourth. Have students fold the final bar in half three times. Unfold. Did we partition the bar into equal parts? Yes. How many equal parts did we make? Eight. Have students color the eighths blue and label each part one eighth. Would you rather eat one eighth of a candy bar or one half of a candy bar? Why? The halves are larger in size and the eighths are smaller in size. There are fewer halves and more eighths. Students should recognize that the more fractional parts in a whole, the smaller the size of the part. Students should recognize that the fewer fractional parts in a whole, the larger the size of the part. Provide students with the show me with fraction bars recording sheet. Tell students, show me one hole with your fraction bars. Have students glue one hole onto their recording sheet. Tell students, show me one half and have students glue the model onto their recording sheet. Repeat these steps with one fourth, one eighth, and three fourths. In this lesson, students will use a linear model such as Cuisinaire rods to determine fractional parts of a whole. Provide each student with the chocolate pieces activity sheet and a set of Cuisinaire rods. Show students an image of a candy bar or an actual candy bar and ask students, is this a piece of a candy bar or a whole candy bar? It's a whole candy bar. Tell students, sometimes we do not want to eat a whole candy bar. Sometimes we may want to eat a piece of it now and save a piece of it for later or give a piece to a friend or friends. Ask students to look at the image of the snack size Hershey's bar. Tell students that we want to share the bar equally with a friend. Model using the Cuisinaire rods to determine how to equally partition the candy bar in half. Ask students, do two light green rods equally compose one whole snack size Hershey's? No. Do two yellow rods equally compose one whole snack size Hershey's? No. Do two purple rods equally compose one whole snack size Hershey's? Yes. Using the purple rods and a marker, partition the whole snack size Hershey's bar in two equal pieces or halves. Ask students, how many pieces did we cut our candy bar into? Two. Are the pieces equal in size? Yes. 
what fractional part is represented when we partition a whole into two equal parts. One half. Model labeling each fractional part one half above the candy bar. Repeat the process by partitioning the snack size Hershey's bar into fourths and eighths. One red rod is one fourth of the snack size Hershey's bar. One white rod is one eighth of the snack size Hershey's bar. Ask students, what do you notice about the pieces of the Hershey's bar as we partition it into more pieces? The more pieces needed to compose a whole, the smaller the piece. The fewer pieces needed to compose a whole, the larger the piece. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minute. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.